What's up guys, my name is Brandon and I've been using the Apple Card for nearly two weeks now and I wanted to share my experience with you guys in this review. We're gonna talk about some of the features included with the Apple Card and whether I think you should apply for one or not. So first things first, applying for the Apple Card itself is stupid simple. All you need to do is go to the wallet application on your iPhone, tap the little plus button, and then you wanna choose Apple Card, you fill out your details, and then you will instantly get an offer with your credit limit and your APR. And if you accept that offer, that's it. That's all there is to it. You're approved you have your Apple card you can use it instantly obviously you won't have the physical card yet you do have to request that and it takes about five to six business days to get the physical card but you can use Apple card on your phone instantly after accepting your term and yes I'm sure you guys have seen the Apple card itself but let me tell you this thing looks and feels even better than I expected in person it has some weight to it it says you know Goldman Sachs and MasterCard on the back it has that really clean look no credit card number on the front you have your little chip the Apple logo and your name and that's it and of course it is made of titanium so when you drop it on like a surface it does make a really awesome noise that I don't think any other credit card on the market will make and this is what your typical wear on the Apple Card will look like. So this is after using it at gas stations, grocery stores, and just places like that where you would stick it in to use the chip. You can see there are a little bit of scratches there at the bottom on the gray part. So as much as I would like to keep this thing as clean as possible, it's just simply not going to happen unless you don't use it and you just use Apple Pay on your phone the whole time. But what's the point in that when you can flex with your Apple Card? Now, obviously, there's a lot more to the Apple Card than just flexing. And I will tell you guys that I'm actually enjoying this card a lot more than I thought. I would I was actually just getting this because it's an Apple product I cover Apple stuff here on the channel I was gonna do a review on it and that was gonna be it that was kind of my thought process before I got my hands on the Apple card but this thing is much better than I expected. So not only does the Apple Card look awesome, but I never have to worry about somebody getting my card number. I could just show this on camera, show it anywhere. I never have to worry about anybody stealing like my credit card number and the expiration date or anything like that. I can also track all of my expenses without having to use a third-party application or even logging in to any kind of application, which is really nice. And you guys will learn that not having to log into an application all the time to check on your expenses is going to be a huge time saver and you know save you a lot of stress and having to worry about putting in the right passcode and things like that I really love that and of course you do also get cash back with the Apple car so those are really three things that I'm gonna talk about a lot in this video so before we talk about the fun stuff with the Apple card let's go ahead and get the boring but just as important stuff out of the way first so one of the big selling points with the Apple card is that there are no fees now of course if you do make a late payment which I recommend you guys all pay off your cards early but if you do make a late payment of course you will pay interest but there are no like late fees no annual fees anything like that no hidden fees there's also no foreign transaction fees so if you were to travel over and use your Apple Card, you won't be paying any type of foreign transaction fees, which is nice. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you do get cash back with the Apple Card, and it's actually broken down into different percentages. So you get 3% back on Apple products, you get 2% back on everything else, but that's only if you use Apple Pay on your iPhone and not the physical card. But if you do use the physical card, you will earn 1% cash back on all purchases. So there are definitely benefits to using Apple Pay versus using the physical card. Instead of physically putting it into the machine if you use Apple Pay on your phone you will get 2% cash back versus 1% but of course not all merchants not all stores offer that so you will have to use the physical card sometimes now since MasterCard has partnered with Apple on the Apple card you do also get the MasterCard benefits and you can see here the benefits are actually pretty simple nothing really too amazing but you get theft protection theft resolution services shop runner MasterCard travel and lifestyle services priceless cities priceless golf and one fine stay so if you're looking for a card with benefits the Apple card Card is definitely not going to be for you it definitely offers a lot less in terms of benefits and cash back and pretty much everything than any other card out there so you're not going to get travel or rental car insurance you're not going to get cell phone insurance you're not going to really get any kind of insurance or any major benefits with the Apple card and like I mentioned earlier the cash back is pretty much equivalent or lower than your typical credit cards cash back system but again the big benefit of having the Apple card when it comes to cash back is that you can actually use the cash instantly you don't have to wait like another month to use it you can use it instantly and you could use it just like with Apple Pay you just tap on Apple cash and use it just like you would any other credit card so if you're really big into credit cards and you like having a lot of credit cards to use for different places to build up your benefits the Apple card is definitely not for you this is not 
a card that you're gonna wanna get just to build up on benefits because there's really no major benefits with the Apple Card. But most of you guys probably don't have a ton of credit cards that you use at different places just to build up benefits and insurance and things like that. So the Apple Card does shine in multiple other areas. And those three areas are security, simplicity, and simplified expense tracking. And unlike traditional credit card providers, Apple doesn't know what you buy or how much you pay for it. But of course their partner Goldman Sachs does have access to that information, but that is secure and they're not gonna sell it to marketers or advertisers or anything like that. Now the Apple Card doesn't have any numbers on the credit card itself, but even if it did and someone got your credit card number, they wouldn't get very far with it because Apple also has a one-time unique dynamic security code put in place on the Apple Card. So basically the CVV code that you usually find on the back of your credit cards actually changes after every purchase. And that makes it nearly impossible for somebody to make fraudulent purchases using your Apple Card. So basically in order for somebody to steal your Apple Card's credit card information, they would not only need to steal your phone, but they would also need to steal your either fingerprint or your face for Face ID to be able to get into the wallet application and get access to all of that. So the security with the Apple Card is top notch. So if you go into the wallet application and click on the three dots at the top and go down to card information, you will see it does ask for your Face ID or your Touch ID. And from there, you can see your name, your card number, your expiration, your security code, and your network. And if you wanted to request a new card number, all you have to do is simply tap the request new card number button right there, and you will get a new one instantly. And then if we go back, you can see all of your credit details there as well, your scheduled payments and things like that. The wallet application is really nicely laid out. And of course, my favorite thing about the wallet application is just how simplified it makes your expense tracking. So expense tracking is super simple with the wallet application. Of course, it's built in to your iPhone. It's a default app, so you don't have to download another app. You don't have to log into anything. It's just there. And the first thing you see inside of the wallet application is your Apple Card right there, which actually has a gradient of different colors that changes based on where you spend your money. So it breaks it down into categories, and those categories are color coordinated, and they make different colors on the card, which is actually pretty cool. So you can see my total balance right there. You can see my total available, my monthly activity. If we tap on that, it actually shows you know our monthly spending for August 2019. In this instance, it shows our daily cash. It shows our categories down there where we've spent money. And you can also toggle that to show merchants instead of just categories. You can scroll down and see where you've actually spent money. So if we tap on this one right here at Total Wine and click on it again, it actually shows on a map view exactly where you purchased whatever you purchased. It shows you the amount, the date, the time, everything. It shows you a lot of info here, which is really nice. You also have like, for instance, in this one, Total Wine at the top, it shows your phone call and your information sheet right there, which is pretty cool. It shows that for pretty much everything. If you go to Walgreens right here, it shows the same. And right below the total, it does also show the amount of cash back that you received. You can also see your latest transactions on the front page as well. If you scroll down a little bit below the monthly activity. And then, like I mentioned earlier, if you tap on the three dots, that's where you get a lot of information here as well. You can also message or call Apple, go to the website. You can schedule your your payments in here. You can manage your bank accounts. You can lock your card. You can request a replacement card, a replacement physical card. You have all these different options here as well. You can see the benefits, all that good stuff inside of the wallet application. So yeah, as you can see, the Apple Card and the wallet application make tracking your expenses super, super simple and convenient. And again, like I mentioned earlier, the fact that you don't have to constantly log into a third-party application is really, really nice and something I think is very underrated and you won't realize until you actually start using it. And it's also nice because now I don't have to use my spreadsheet that I usually use to track my expenses, I don't need that anymore because it's all built into the wallet application. So that also saves me a ton of time. I also don't have to worry about the security of my card. Nobody's gonna be able to steal my credit card information. So yeah, I absolutely love the Apple Card. I think it's a fantastic option if you have an iPhone. Now, of course, there are some downsides. Like I mentioned, the benefits are not very good at all compared to other credit cards out there. So if you are big into benefits and getting a lot of cash back and having like travel insurance, rental car insurance and things like that, you may not care to use the Apple Card because it's not really gonna benefit you too much. But if you're like me and you don't care too much about all that and you just want security, simplicity, and a great way to track expenses, I think the Apple Card is perfect for that. Now, of course, if you have an Android, you probably don't wanna get the Apple Card because it's not really gonna be the same without the wallet application. I mean, I guess you can carry an iPad around or something like that and it could be worth it, but I would generally say that if you have an Android, you probably don't care to get the Apple Card. So all in all, I absolutely love the Apple Card after using it for two weeks. I can only see my experience getting better as I build up more cash back and start to use it a lot more. I think it's yet another Apple product that's going to be a winner, very similar to the AirPods. A lot of people made fun of this at first. And it's gonna end up being very successful just like the AirPods. And like I mentioned earlier, just pay off your balance every month. Pay it a little bit early. Don't pay it you know, just on the due date. Pay it early, get it paid off 
That's really the only downside to even applying for the Apple Card is if you don't think you're going to be able to pay it monthly. But if you think you can pay monthly, you know, the amount that you spend, I don't see any downside in applying for the Apple credit card. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Apple Card down in the comment section below. Do you have one? Are you going to get one? What do you think about it? What do you think about the benefits, the cash back? What do you think about the security? Tell me what's most important to you and what you're enjoying most about the Apple Card down in the comment section below. And if you're against the Apple Card and you don't want to get one, let me know why down in the comment section below because I can't really see any major reason reason not to get the Apple Card if you could pay off your balance every month and not have to deal with those high APR rates. So if you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future Apple-related videos. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you soon.